Devastated more than just the main road in Ellicott City, families have had to leave their homes and go to shelters. Marcella Robertson is there right now. So how are they? Yeah, Reese, good morning. Well, right now we are here at St. Peter's Church in Ellicott City, and I can tell you that the people here, two church members inside, they say they have uh, been in contact with a couple of people here. They have helped them out with minor things, but they say at, at this point no one has really had to stay overnight. So that is the good news here, at least for this shelter. Uh, they say that their doors are open, and as soon as the people were hearing about the damage and the extent of what happened yesterday, they say they received phone calls, donations. People were bringing water and food, sleeping bags, blankets, it's really anything that you can imagine that a shelter would need here. When this uh, flood, same kind of situation happened nearly two years ago. They say the county actually took over their building. They opened the doors to the county really because of the proximity and the location of this church. They're up on a hill. They're also very close to Main Street. I was talking to the two people inside the church here who have, you know, opened their doors here, and they say that this is really just devastating for a lot of the people. Many of the people have just finished rebuilding from the last flood, and they say that they knew this would happen again, but they didn't think it would be this soon. Take a listen. Uh, there's a gigantic a river underneath Ellicott City. There's a river at the end, and the county did their best, but there's got to be major work done. There's nowhere for that water to go. It's like a funnel. I did not think it would happen this fast. I wish it had not. So again, really just uh, devastating for a lot of the people here. Um, I can tell you that, again, this is one of three shelters here.